Welcome to Tales from SYL Ranch, the bit shoot channel where everyone is entitled to my opinion. And I'm Bill Stone. While I have your attention, I'd like to ask that if you like what I'm doing, please like this video, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, share me on social media, and tell all of your friends, family, neighbors, pets, and livestock to do the same. I would appreciate your support via my PayPal tip jar, my subscribe star, my merch stores on Teespring, or a place on my website where you can support me further. And there are links to all of these in my description box. Democrats, it's a trap! <laughs> Now, I don't tell you this because I'm a Trump supporter and I love to gloat in your flagrant and rampant stupidity. I tell you this because I'm a libertarian. I would not vote for neither your candidates nor a Republicans if you put a gun to my head. But that said, I am also aware that short of some kind of miracle, there's no chance that my guys are ever going to get put into power. The thing is that one party rule has never led anywhere good. In any country where we see one party rule, we ultimately see tyranny. And much as they'd like to think so, I, I, there's really no reason to think that the United States would be better off under one party rule either with the Democrats or the Republicans. So Democrats, I tell you this because I'd rather that that not happen. Now, to be honest, the, I generally think that the best thing we could probably hope for is total and complete and permanent gridlock, whereby neither side can pass any law of any kind. That would be best, but I don't think we're going to get that. So Democrats, Please believe me when I tell you, it's a trap! It's an obvious trap. It's so obvious that even a child could see it. It's a trap! Now, here's the current situation, if you don't already know. In 2006, then-Vice President Joe Biden got his coke-snorting son out of a jam by telling the Ukrainian government that he would uh, that withhold about a billion dollars of your money unless the Ukrainians stopped looking into an issue that involved his coke-snorting son. And so, naturally, with a billion dollars on the line, the Ukrainian, Ukrainians caved. But then when a new Ukrainian elect president was elected, President Trump made a congratulatory call. And among other things, he said that if the Ukrainians wanted to look into this mess with Biden and his son, that they could. Then an anonymous whistleblower said that on that call, Trump had offered the Ukrainians something in exchange for investigating the Biden mess. And of course, the Democrats went nuts, and without bothering to wait for any evidence, as usual, they started impeachment investigations against Trump. So after Russian collusion had you know, exploded in their faces, thus ensuring a Trump 2020 victory, I might add, you'd have thought that the Democrats would have learned their lesson. Nope. And then less than 24 hours after Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi announced the investigation, Trump released the transcript of the call. What the whistleblower said had happened didn't happen. And it turns out, in fact, that the whistleblower wasn't even giving a first-hand account, but rather hearsay. And you never pay attention to hearsay. I could say that I heard that someone told me that you frack pigs, but that doesn't make it real. Well, the Democrats then held ludicrous hearings on the matter, and they were so laughable that I started seeing people posting on Facebook that they were actually sitting around with their friends in break rooms laughing at these stupid hearings. And then late yesterday, somebody caught Trump on uh, tape saying that he thought that this was a lot like spying what this whistleblower had done and maybe should be treated as such. And there's a link in my description box to that uh, particular audio. And then at the same time, more or less, Trump had sort of mused that maybe Congress would like to see Vice President Pence's phone calls as well. And then the propagandist press and the unhinged left went insane again. Now, the press had been claiming, started claiming that this remark was meant that if Trump was deflecting blame from himself onto Vice President Trump, thereby throwing Pence under the bus. Are you people insane? You discredited yourselves for two years on Russian collusion. You just finished attempting to get Trump for something that Biden did and discrediting yourself in the process. And now you think that because you couldn't find anything on Trump, that means that he is throwing blame onto Pence to put him under the bus. It's a trap! I mean, would Trump ever, for a moment, suggest letting you in on Pence's phone calls if there would be anything even remotely incriminating on them? 
I mean, are you really that incredibly stupid? I guess you are, because you've fallen for it. It's a trap, you incredible frack wits. It's a trap, it's a trap, it's a trap! All that's going to happen is that you will work yourselves again to a fevered pitch again, jump on the gun, jump the gun about doing something about Trump again without any evidence, and then wind up with egg on your faces again. You have done this over and over and over to the point where I can only make videos to caution you against it. And anyone who is not you can see that you look like spiteful, vindictive, desperate children. It's like watching a two-year-old having a tantrum. You look like idiots. And the average voter knows that you cannot be trusted with the reins of power. Whatever socialist or communist wins the Democratic nomination for president is going to lose to Trump. They don't have the slightest chance. The, the Democrats, I'm almost certain they've lost the House now in 2020, and they're probably going to lose local and state seats as well. The Republicans might well take everything for the foreseeable future. And, you know, that's really not a good thing. I hope that the vacuum, maybe created by the complete implosion of the Democratic Party by their own hand, might maybe leave room for a different party. You know, my, my own preference, obviously, would be the Libertarian Party. But hey, at this point, almost anybody would be better. Democrats and leftists, you have completely discredited yourselves. You are, in fact, spiteful, vindictive, desperate children. Too dumb to know when you've been suckered. The Democratic Party is gone. It's not pining, it's passed on. The Democratic Party is no more. It has ceased to be. It has expired and gone to meet its maker. It's a stiff, bereft of life. It rests in peace. It's pushing up the daisies. Its metabolic processes are now history. It's off the twig. It's kicked the bucket. It's shuffled off its mortal coil and run, up, run down the curtain and joined the choir invisible. This is an ex-party. Democrats, it's a trap! That's all I really have to say about that. So, I'd like to keep the conversation going, so please leave your comments, questions, and nasty remarks, and I'll do my best to respond to you. So thanks for watching. That's all the time that we have today for this episode of the highly acclaimed, world-renowned Tales from SYL Ranch, uh, the BitChu channel, where everyone is entitled to my opinion. And I'm Bill Stone. <laughs>